Hi Taylor, this is a quick demonstration of what I was trying to explain on Friday night about st stylistic sets. Um, I've got six lines of your name here. The font they're currently in is called Arial. Stylistic sets don't work with Arial, so we're going to change everything to the font that it does work with. This is the only one that I know about in uh, Office that comes with Office for free. It's called Gabriola, named after the island off Vancouver. Um, the numbers here indicate the level of styling. I'm not sure what it stands for. But anyway, these are all now at level 1. Uh, I'm going to turn this one from level 1 into level 2. So I select it. I pick the little arrow in the bottom corner here. Click on that. Click on Advanced. And change the stylistic set level from 1 to 2. Click on OK. And whoop de doo you get a longer L, a different A, and uh, a Y with a little bit of attitude. So that's two. I'm going to make this one three. Um, let's see, we're back to, I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> we're back to the same old A and the same old Y, the level one Y. We get the long L. Um, not very inter interesting. So this one's going to be four. Again, we go here, we change this to 4. So we got a swoopy T, uh, uh, attitude on the L, and the same old Y. Wait till you see 6. Here's 5. There is no 7, by the way. 5. Uh, hmm. The A is different. Okay, here we go. The pièce de résistance, six. There you go. This all happens automatically in Word. Uh, in, oh shoot, Photoshop, uh, InDesign, programs like that, you have manual control over this, so you get to pick the swash characters, the, you know, there are 18 glyphs, 18 different shapes for the Y characters, so you get to pick between this one and this one and some others with more or less swash. Um, anyway, hope this helps. If you ever need to talk to me about this, I'll be glad to try and help you with it. Have fun.